guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought that it'd be fun to do a bit of a transformation video similar to a get ready with me, but kind of starting the day before because you guys know that I have been um, wearing braids the past few weeks and after about four and a half weeks, I'm over the braids. So I, of course, you guys see I have new hairdo. I went ahead and took the braids out, washed my hair, conditioned my hair, prepped my hair, braided my hair, um, popped a wig on and then got all glammed up for today. I haven't gotten glammed up in like two weeks so this is always a, a good refreshing moment to remind myself that I still got it but it is 4th of July um, I'm actually headed to a bridal shower and so I figured I'd go ahead and just show you guys my complete transformation from blah or basic <laughs> to baddie now let me just go ahead and preface this statement by saying no I am not saying that you are blah or basic if you have no makeup on and you're wearing braids that's not my intent at all you guys know me I'm just saying like how you can go from zero looking real plain Jane to full-on glammed up diva um, in a short amount of time so before I go ahead and hop into today's video I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor and that is privileged hair extensions so you guys know that I have been wearing privileged hair extensions now for the past what three months I started wearing the hair like the end of March so that's April May June so yeah about three months now and you guys have heard me rave about them on my Instagram here in videos and I was not getting paid to say any of that like I literally love their hair you guys know that I tend to gravitate towards raw authentic unprocessed hair and this hair is just that so this hair that I'm rocking right now is a full unit so it is a closure and three bundles or what they consider to be a blend so privileged hair extensions I do things a bit differently because instead of just you know selling bundles units they do what's called blends and each blend is unique that's what's really different about it is because I've never seen a company that each set of bundles is unique so this again was a set of three straight bundles or straight supplements which of course made a blend so for my unit the closure and the three supplements or the three bundles came as one blend and that blend was the straight texture i do believe the longest length that i have is about 20 two inches I believe and I did cut off like one or two inches whenever I first got the hair installed so it comes to like right below the boob area um, and it does have slight layers in it it's just absolutely gorgeous and I also did get the wig created through them so you can a order the bundles or the blends or the supplements through them and they can also pay to get the wig made through them as well and that is what I did now again because each blend is unique um, they have blends that just have two bundles they have blends that have three bundles in a closure they have blends that have you know like just two bundles in a closure like it all depends on what you need and what you want and that is what I like about this company so now I did go ahead and curl the straight hair and when I say that it holds a curl so beautifully like look at how well these curls look and also you'll see in the video whenever I go in and pull out the wig um to pop it on and then add a few curls in it well the curls that you guys will see in the video in the clip those curls are like a month old so it shows you guys how well this hair holds a curl this hair here is so soft and so light like just look at how pretty and voluminous and how much body it is it literally looks freaking amazing and I honestly cannot get enough of it. Um, I believe this hair is Cambodian. Um, they do have different uh, sources, but again, whenever you go on the website and you're looking at the information for that particular blend or supplement, um, it'll tell you all the details. It'll tell you the length, it'll tell you the luster, the texture, um, and also the source as well. So just pay attention to whenever you are ordering your hair because again, it is all very, very unique. Now, one of the main priorities for privileged hair extensions is of course to keep the customer first, which I can definitely attest to because first of all, y'all, shipping was so fast. Like I got my hair, I ordered it on like a Thursday and I think I had it but like the following Tuesday or Wednesday. So shipping is very, very quick. They're very transparent, which I do like as well. The pictures that you see online is exactly what you get in the mail now the bundles do range from 1.5 ounces to 4 ounces and the 
hair itself does feature three different collections. So you have the Adorn collection, which is the least expensive of the three. And the World collection features custom-made closures, frontals, and wigs made from 100% virgin machine wefted Southeast Asian tresses. And then lastly, you have the Signature Collection. And the Signature Collection is 100% virgin hair from Southeast Asia. And because the hair is virgin, it ranged from pinky size curls to thumb size curls, loose to deep waves, and silky straight to coarse straight hair. I'm very, very, very picky about hair. And this is hands down some of the best hair I have ever worn. No tangling at all, very minimal shedding. Like, look at this. Not a single strand, y'all. Not a single one. So that shows you guys how great of quality this hair is. So if you are interested in checking out Privileged Hair Extensions, then go ahead and check out the link down below. And if you want to save some money, go ahead and use code NOX10 to get 10% off your order. And you guys will see how I apply the wig and also style it um, throughout the video. So I'll go ahead and hop into my transformation video. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Okay guys, so of course the first step is to take down the braid. So I actually went to an African braiding salon here in Austin and got the braids removed because Lord knows I was not doing that myself. So I just went and took them down, um, came home, washed my hair, deconditioned my hair, blow dried it like the whole nine. And um, this is basically what my hair looks like now that it is blow dried. And y'all look how much, like look how much hair I have on my head. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm telling y'all I'm seriously itching for a haircut, okay? Um, so here I am just parting my hair into two sections. And because I'm wearing a side part, of course I wanted to part my hair on the side to of course align with the part in the closure. And then I'm just doing like these really terrible bootleg cornrows you guys i cannot braid my hair for anything i really cannot braid but i can like fake it so i'm basically doing about five or six um larger cornrows just going straight um not straight back but a few on the side and then a few going straight back which you guys will see here in a second like i said i'm not good at it so i can't really explain how i'm doing it but of course it's braiding down the hair so that the wig lays nice and flat which of course is exactly what we want And of course, um, to hold the braids in place, I am applying a rubber band to the bottoms. And as you can see, here are my braids. So I do have a total of seven. Okay, and then before I go ahead and head to the bed, I'm gonna of course apply a headscarf just to keep my hair nice and protected. Here are my braids the following morning. And then what I like to do is that before I go ahead and actually do makeup, I like to go ahead and apply the wig cap and of course lay my edges because y'all know how important that is to me. <laughs> So I'll lay them with some Eco Styler Gel and a toothbrush. Um, of course, lay them how I want them. And then I'll go ahead and apply a scarf while I'm doing my makeup so that way the edges lay nice and flat and they'll last throughout the day. So now hopping into the makeup routine, I'm first starting off with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and Eye Rescue. And then of course going ahead and prepping the skin with the Becca Matte Primer and the Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer, which you guys know are my holy grails. Before I do foundation, I am going ahead and just color correcting just a bit with the CoverGirl cream palette. Y'all know I've been loving that one. And then of course, going with a full coverage foundation, which is a Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I do want to let you guys know that I actually did go in store and I did purchase a new shade. So for this video, I'm using the shade Nairobi, which I'm pretty sure I love the best of all the shades I've tried out. So I think the Nairobi is actually my closest match and then going in with concealer i'm taking the laura mercier flawless fusion concealer as well as the Too faced born this way concealer and just applying that of course to the typical areas which is under my eyes bridge of my nose forehead um cupid's bow and also my chin of course to highlight Now it's important to really take your time and blend out those edges to make sure that there are no harsh lines and everything is nice and seamless. But once you're done, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set those areas with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder just to really brighten up those areas and then set the rest of my face with the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. 
Now, typically I'll do my cream contour before I set my face, but I actually decided last minute to do cream contour, which is why I'm actually doing it after I set. So just know usually it's, I do it the other way around, but I am using the Haley's Beauty foundation stick to warm up my skin. I just wanted a really nice bronzy, so of course cream contour or cream bronzer is the perfect way to do that. And then after I apply the bronzer or the cream bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and set that area with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW48. So now that the face is basically done, or at least for now, I'm going to go ahead and feel in my brows with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Feel pencil. And it's feel in both brows, of course, brush them up and make sure they look, that they look, you know, nice and natural. And then I'll go ahead and clean it up with the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC42. Now for the eyes, okay, well actually for this day I was actually in a rush. So I wanted something that was like really full glam but that didn't take a lot of time. So I opted to do a smoky eye. So I'm taking the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette and it's popping the, that really pretty orange shade in the crease. And then taking the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in the shade Khaki and applying that all over the lid and blending it out with my finger. And then to set that concealer, I'm going to take the really deep brown chocolate shade from that same Morphe by Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette and just pack that all over the lid. Um, I actually did not use an, a shadow base for this look because I was using a cream eyeshadow. So I wanted to go ahead and use that first and then set it with the shadow on top of it. And as you can see, it created a really, really, really nice but really easy smoky eye. So now it's going in, blending out those edges because you guys know we don't do any harsh edges over here. <laughs> and that's pretty much the lids, you know, for this look. So going in with the Milani Coral Pro blush and dusting away that excess powder and also contouring our nose with that same MAC Studio Fix powder and then popping on some falsies and for today's look I'm using the Kiss Page Boy False Lashes. And now to smoke out that lower lash line I'm taking that same Morphe uh, ring the alarm palette and it's taking that same uh, orange shade in brown shade to smudge out and smoke out the lower lash line. Now of course you cannot forget mascara to complete the eyes. Now I am setting my brows with the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. I've actually been loving this one lately so I feel like I'm using it all the time these days. Um, for my lips I'm using the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. And I'm actually using a new lipstick, which is in the shade Kinkster. It's like a really pretty brownish, but like slightly cool nude. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. Oh, and then of course you can't forget highlight. I'm taking the CoverGirl Sculpting Expert palette and it's popping that really pretty rose gold shade on my forehead, my cheeks, and also the bridge of my nose. All right, setting this whole look into place with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Can't forget that. And I am popping on a little bit of Myth Lip Glass from MAC, just to make it a little more glossy and soften the look just a bit. Alrighty, so makeup is done. I'm gonna go ahead and now actually apply the wig because our hair is all prepped and ready to go. We have a wig cap on, our edges are laid. So now it's just time to go ahead and actually apply the wig. And as you all can see, this wig literally applies with ease. It it takes very, very, very little work to make it look natural. And that's one thing I love about this wig. Again, it is from Privileged Hair Extensions and it is the straight texture. Um, and I'm just loving leveling this hair. So what I'm doing here is touching up the curls. I'm applying a few in the front where I, that's the area I really care about. And I am using, I believe it's a one, one and one fourth inch barrel. And again, just focusing really on the front because I was in a rush and I didn't have time to just touch up the whole head. So a few curls in the front and at the top just, you know, will make a huge difference. After I'm done curling, I'll go ahead and apply some hairspray just to make sure that it lasts and stays in place all day. Because of course it, it, it's July 4th and it's hot outside and it's very humid so you want it to last. And then after I apply the hairspray, then I'll go ahead and brush out the curls. And as you can see, you guys, this hair looks so full, so voluminous, so pretty, and I am literally obsessed with this hair. Y'all, just, just look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> 
So that is it for my transformation. And here comes the final look of the makeup, which as you can see is really, it's smoky, but still daytime appropriate, which I love. And here are all the outfit details. All right, guys, so here is the final outfit, what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing this like mustard and cream striped romper. I actually showcased it in my summer, affordable summer clothing haul. And I actually got it from Plato's Closet, so it's actually a resale item, but I literally love this romper, you guys. Look at the sleeves, like I love this. So for accessories, I'm just wearing um, the hoops from my store, Shop Allure. These are the We Like to Party hoops, and y'all, these are literally like my favorite. <laughs> literally my favorite hoops of all time. Like, just look at how fabulous these are. And in my opinion, like the earrings just set the entire look off. And I literally love these. So I will leave a link down below to our store if you want to check them out. They are affordable and they are a great statement piece. So again, here are the earrings, um, again, the romper, and then we have these clear sandals. I actually got these like a year or two ago from Boohoo. Um, so they are oldies, but they're perfect for like summer fits and kind of just, you know, they go with everything because they're clear. So I'm rocking these as well. But again, here's the final look with the makeup the hair, and the outfit. <laughs>